Hi, this is my little bathroom in my apartment. I'm going to share with you my shower system. The heart of this system is this uh, water heater. This is a 6,000 watts water heater. Now, when you install a water heater, there are some requirements you have to consider. One is the electrical requirement and the other one is the piping system. Now, if you install like this a 6,000 watts water heater, then you need a circuit breaker that is uh, appropriate for this uh, water heater. Do not attempt to plug directly your water heater to any electrical outlet inside your bathroom if that particular electrical outlet is not designed for uh, water heaters. Just like the air conditioning system, you have to have a very special outlet for that. Now, this one, uh, if you have noticed, there's a cable from this water heater that is going up connected to the circuit breaker. The circuit breaker, this is a safety device just in case something is uh, boiling down there in the water heater, the circuit breaker will turn off or will trick off so it makes your system safer. Now, if you have a 6000 watts uh, water heater, you need a 30 ampere circuit breaker or 60 amperes like this one. Then you connect the uh, circuit breaker to your main panel or to your main fuse using a number 10 AWG electrical wire. So this one is a 10 number 10 wire. So there are two wire electrical wires inside this uh, particular cable. And also if you notice the wire that is being used uh, in the this one, this white wire used in the water heater is also number 10. Okay, so you have to be cautious in installing the water heater. Now, uh, with regard to the piping system, you have to decide whether you're going to uh, buy a single point uh, water heater or a two point system. When you say single point, there's only one shower head. If you say two point, so there is a shower head above, the overhead uh, rain shower, and your hand shower. So my system has a hand shower and the overhead shower. But this particular water heater is only a single point. So how did, how did I do that? I did that by uh, installing a circuit or a, what you call a diverter. This diverter, I bought this one also from Lazada because you cannot buy this uh, in any local hardware stores. I ordered this from China. So this is the diverter. When you when the position of the lever is up, it means the water will flow above to the overhead rain shower. Okay? Now if I'm going to change the lever down and turn it down, then the water will flow to down will flow to the hand shower okay so that's it that makes it two point water <laughs> heater okay so if you put that in the in the middle then both the hand shower and the uh, overhead will have water okay but dep it depends on your water pressure but since my water pressure here is very low so i just opting uh, either the overhead or the hand shower okay now uh so this is the outlet from the water heater, so the water that is flowing here is already hot, while the other one is the inlet or the water source. So uh, the, the pipe here is connected to the main pipe, and this is the main my main bulb, my control for the water. So I'm not going to use this one. This is already uh, open permanently, so that it will not damage, it will be damaged uh, for long use. Now, uh, I originally used a house or a shower hose for the water inlet here for the water supply here but I changed it to a PVC pipe because if you're going to use a shower hose like this one it has only a small tubing inside it's about 7 mm so the pressure of your water is affected unlike the uh, PVC pipe it has a half inch diameter inside so a lot of water is coming out from this particular uh, pipe okay so that's